Aren't animals just the cutest, cuddliest little guys in the whole universe? Eh, well, sometimes, but also sometimes they're pure nightmare fuel. You can really tell when God was having a weird day when he was designing these creatures. God, or the Matrix, or alien lizards, or whatever is responsible for the randomness of life on Earth, that is. From the snake that looks like a dong, to the fish that thinks it's a wolf, here's 20 weird animals that will give you chills. <sighs> Number 20. The Odd Snake while working on a dam on the Amazon River, Brazilian engineers discovered a new species of the Sicilian family, which includes snakes, worms, and other creatures. In fact, many people speculated that it resembled a huge blind earthworm. However, many others just said the obvious. It looks precisely like, uh, well, you figure it out. Yes, we'd like to present you to the so-called odd snake. What a moniker. Six of these odd snakes were discovered while draining a section of the Madeira River, which is one of the Amazon's major tributaries. A scientist determined it was a new species to science and named it Detrado Chowana Iselty, but the scientist is pretty much the only person who refers to it that way. Everyone else will refer to it by its appearance. And there's nothing you can do to stop us, except for YouTube. They can ban us from naming it that, so let's name it the P word snake for now. They can reach a length of roughly 32 inches, which admittedly would make for a rather impressive wiener. If it looked like one of those, which it doesn't of course, this animal will give you nightmares. Like, for real. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Budget Frog. You might think you would find the budget frog going cheap, but in fact, it's only baby chicks that go cheap. Instead, the budget frog will just haunt your unconscious mind forever. Budget's frog, Lepidopatracus lavis, is a species of frog in the Cerrado Friday family discovered by John Samuel Budget. Hippo Frog, Freddy Krueger Frog, and other funny nicknames have been given to it. Due to its humorous flat look and clever demeanor, this frog has become popular in pet stores. Females may grow to be 10 centimeters long, whereas males can only grow to be half that size. They have a big head. that takes up about a third of their body with a particularly enormous mouth. The top row of teeth and two fangs on the lower jaw make up their mouth. Their forelimbs are unwebbed and their limbs are incredibly small and stubby. The male's throats are dark blue. The wide mouth frog has adapted well to its surroundings, particularly the hard winter. During this period, it will be dormant underground, protected by a cocoon of shed dead skin, and will keep it from losing water until they emerge. When threatened, this species becomes more aggressive and puffs out to seem bigger. They will produce a harsh screech, bite, and corner the prey if this activity does not dissuade the intruder. Number 18. Wolffish the Atlantic wolffish is a marine fish endemic to the North Atlantic Ocean and a member of the Anarchishatidae family of wolffish. Because of overfishing and bycatch, the population of Atlantic wolffish in U.S. waters is quickly dropping and the National Marine Fisheries Service of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has listed it as a species of concern. Aside from their remarkable appearance, wolffish are distinguished by the natural antifreeze they produce to keep their blood moving in their extremely cold home, the fact that both the male and female participate in brood carrying, and the size of their eggs. They're also important for controlling green crab and sea urchin populations, which may be harmful to the ecosystem if left unchecked.
the success of wolffish populations has an impact on the health of other bottom-dwelling fish species, such as Atlantic cod. The Atlantic wolffish's most distinctive feature is its enormous dental structure from which it gets its common name. The teeth of the Atlantic wolffish set it apart from the rest of the Anarchishatidae family. Both the lower and upper jaws have four to six fang-like, strong, conical teeth. Behind the conical teeth in the upper jaw are three rows of crushing teeth. The central row has four pairs of molars, whereas the surrounding rows have blunted conical teeth. Two rows of molars in the lower jaw are located behind the main conical teeth. The wolffish's throat is similarly littered with serrated teeth. Number 17. Great Patu the true master of disguise is here in the form of the giant patu, a bird that can transform into a tree trunk. It's difficult to believe when you see this bird. It's known as the Muppet Bird because of its large floppy head, gigantic beak, and bulging eyes, which give it the appearance of a crazy puppet. But if you're traveling through the forests of South and Central America, you'll need an eagle eye to see this species. For once, we're not discussing an endangered species but rather a master of disguise. Their feathers have a molted gray-brown coloration that resembles tree bark. This means the patu can hang out on a tree branch, squint its eyes until they're completely invisible, and go about its business as normal. This is one chilled bird. This bird would undoubtedly be the dude from The Big Lebowski if it were a movie character. The patu fluffs the feathers on its head to make them look like a broken branch for further secrecy. Then when it spots anything at once, it just takes it out of the air with its enormous beak. Easy. Number 16. Zombie Snail you might think there's nothing scary about a snail, but it's not the snails here you need to fear, but a parasite which has turned these snails into zombies. The green-banded brood sac, Leucochloridium paradoxum, is a parasitic flatworm. Land snails, generally of the species Succinia, serve as intermediate hosts. The adult parasites live in the cloaca of a bird and lays its eggs in the feces. But to get here, it needs to be eaten by a bird first, so it hijacks a snail to get the job done. The pulsing green brood sacs fill the snail's eye stalks, attracting the snail's principal predator, birds. These brood sacs look like caterpillars, which are a bird's favorite food. The parasite alters the snail host's behavior in such a manner it attracts birds' attention. In one research with Succinia putris hosts, infected snails stayed in brighter areas for longer periods of time, perched on higher plants, and were more mobile. While 53% of infected snails remained completely exposed for the whole 45-minute observation period, just 28% percent of controls, neighboring snails lacking leucochloridium brood sacs did. Snails that have been infected can live for up to a year and still use the eyes on the ends of their tentacles. The sporocysts look and behavior are examples of aggressive mimicry, in which the parasite resembles the host's meal in order to obtain access into the host's body. Unlike most other occurrences of aggressive mimicry, when just a portion of the host mimics the target its prey, and the mimic subsequently consumes the fooled animal, this one involves the whole host. Number 15. Pig-Nosed Turtle the pig-nosed turtle is a turtle that may be found in northern Australia and southern New Guinea. The Caratoshaliidae family, which includes soft-shell turtles, has just one extant member. The pig-nosed turtle has a unique mix of characteristics that distinguishes it from other freshwater turtle species. The feet are flippers, similar to those found on sea turtles. The common name comes from the fact that the nose resembles that of a pig, with the nostrils at the end of a fleshy snout. The carapace is usually gray or olive in color, with a leathery feel, while the plastron is white. The larger and thinner tails of males differentiate them from females. Pig-nosed turtles may reach a carapace length of 70 to 75 centimeters, 
and a weight of over 20 kilograms. Pig-nosed turtles, unlike soft-shelled turtles of the Trionychidae family, have a domed bone carapace beneath their leathery skin rather than a flat plate. They also have a solid plastron, which is joined to the carapace by a strong bony bridge as opposed to the Trionychid's soft border. The pig-nosed turtle is not entirely aquatic. Because there have been few studies in the field, little is known about their general behavior. Because of its severe hostility in captivity, the species appears to be far more territorial than most other turtles and tortoises. During the colder, dry season, they appear to have some social organization near the hydrothermal vents that border some of the river systems they inhabit. Number 14. Pegfish. Pegfish are a strange, jawless species of fish that are the only known animal with a skull but no spine. They can grow up to 20 inches long, but the largest ever found measured an incredible 4 feet and 2 inches. They can be found in waters all over the world and have hardly changed since their first ancestors emerged around 300 million years ago. They come in a variety of colors from gray to pink and feed on worms and dead or nearly dead animals that have washed up on the seabed. Perhaps the most revolting aspect of the hagfish is the slime they produce. Unlike the fun kind you see on Nickelodeon, this slime is milky and fibrous, and it's disgusting. This is an indigenous defensive mechanism, since it makes catching and holding them very tricky. They create so much that simply holding one by its tail may produce up to five gallons of the material, and they can even tie themselves into a knot to release even more into the water around them. Number 13. Shoebill Stork Did you realize that birds are descended directly from dinosaurs? It's true, and they're a live link to a planet that died 65 million years ago. Or, depending on how you look at it, with the release of Jurassic Park 3. One thing that the first Jurassic Park film may have gotten incorrect was depicting T-Rex and Velociraptors as scaly. It's possible they had feathers exactly like birds. and they possessed hollow, low-density bones, which not only allowed them to grow so large, but also provided them with the necessary materials to fly. Anyway, if you're looking at a local pigeon, this might seem hard to believe, but one glance at a shoebill, and you'll notice how close it is to dinosaurs straight away. These enormous birds, which have a shoe for a face, dwell in Uganda and the neighboring areas. They were once thought to be a kind of stork, although they really belong to the pelican family. In any case, this giant dinosaur bird has a strange appearance. Number 12. Goliath Bird Eater Spider Spiders are one of the most feared animals on the planet, and while most species pose no threat to humans, there are a few that should be avoided. One of these is the Goliath bird eater spider, weighing up to half a pound and having a leg span of up to 12 inches. It is a type of tarantula that lives in burrows on the rainforest floor. You can supposedly hear the thudding of their footsteps as they wander through the forest in quest of worms when they emerge at night to forage for sustenance. Despite their name, they are rarely known to hunt birds. However, there have been reports of them catching hummingbirds. They also hunt snakes, lizards, and rodents, and are remarkably private eaters. Rather than eating their victim in the open, they pull it back to their burrow and inject it with chemicals to liquefy the internal organs which they then suck dry. Nice. Number 11. Japanese Spider Crab The Japanese spider crab is a kind of marine crab that may be found in the waters of Japan. It has the largest leg span of any arthropod. They go through three larval stages and a prezoial stage before reaching their gigantic size. They're sought after by crab fishers and they're considered a delicacy in Japan. These species and their populations are threatened by overfishing and conservation efforts are ongoing to protect them. The Japanese spider crab has the largest leg span of any arthropod, reaching 12.1 feet long 
from claw to claw. Aside from its massive size, the Japanese spider crab differs from other crabs in a number of ways. The male's pleopods coil in an unusual fashion, and the larvae appear primitive. Despite its terrifying appearance, it is reported to have a gentle personality. It also has an unusual molting behavior that lasts 103 minutes and entails the crab losing mobility and molting its shell before molting its walking legs. To protect themselves from bigger predators like octopuses, giant spider crabs use camouflage and their protective exoskeleton. The crab's rough shell blends very well with the rocky ocean floor. To add to the illusion, a spider crab will cover its shell with sponges and other organisms. Number 10. Southern Ground Hornbill the southern ground hornbill is one of two ground hornbill species found only in Africa, and it is the biggest hornbill species on the planet. It may be found throughout Africa's southernmost areas, from Kenya to South Africa. They live in both forests and savannas in these areas. Southern ground hornbills are carnivorous and spend the most of their time hunting on the ground. Insects and tiny mammals are among the foods available. These birds have lengthy lifespans ranging from 50 to 60 years in the wild, and up to 70 years in captivity. <coughs> Southern ground hornbills are a widely distributed and culturally significant species in South Africa. Southern ground hornbills are one of the big six bird species found in South Africa's Kruger National Park. The southern ground hornbill is said to be connected with death and bad luck in numerous cultures. Some see them as a symbol or bringer of death, devastation, loss, and deprivation in general. These ideas are most common in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Malawi, but they have spread to many other nations and peoples. The bird is seen as an unfortunate and aggressive bird connected with evil and death by some people of Burundi, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, and Mozambique. The Taveta people, in particular, have a traditional belief that killing a southern ground can cause a deadly sickness to the person who does so. Number 9. Frill-necked Lizard Northern Australia and Papua New Guinea are home to the frilled lizard, a huge tree-dwelling lizard. In the Agamidae family, it is the second largest lizard. These lizards may reach a maximum length of 90 centimeters, with their long tail accounting for two-thirds of that length. They have a brown or gray tint to them. The frill around this lizard's neck, which it may expand when threatened, gives it its name. The frill is lighter in color than the body and can contain patterns of orange, yellow, and red. Frilled lizards are most commonly found in wooded environments and are arboreal, meaning they prefer to spend the most of their time in trees, only going down to the ground to feed. These lizards are omnivores, meaning they will eat everything. They prefer to consume insects, spiders, and other invertebrates, but may also devour other lizards and small animals on occasion. These lizards have a long tail and keen claws, making them well-suited to tree living. Frilled lizard males are bigger than female frilled lizards. Frilled lizards mate during the beginning of the rainy season. The female will bury her eggs after laying them in a burrow in the earth. After a few months, the eggs hatch and the hatchlings are completely self-sufficient. Number 8. Hairy Frogfish the hairy frogfish is a strange-looking creature. It's a frogfish, so it's a little bit of both, but it's primarily a fish. In actuality, it's mostly a hairy blob that lives in coral, particularly in warmer ocean temperatures where reefs are prevalent. But it's not just about looking weird, the hairy frogfish also wants to be weird. No joke. First, it utilizes its hairs, which are really spines, as a sort of camouflage, which is complemented by the frogfish's ability to change color to fit its environment. 
in chameleon-like fashion. They also can't swim, which you may assume is a disadvantage for a fish. It doesn't appear to be slowing them down, though. They don't enjoy wasting energy following things around, so one extra long spine hangs over their lips and serves as a bait. When a critter swims by to look at the bait, the frogfish can really move. Even the most modern slow-motion cameras struggle to capture the frogfish's assault because it is so quick. The movement takes only one six-thousandth of a second, making it one of the world's quickest eaters. Number 7. Victoria Crowned Pigeon the Victoria crowned pigeon of New Guinea is a far cry from its common relative, the rock dove, sometimes known as the flying rat. It is richly dressed in bright cerulean plumage, and as its name indicates, has a lacy crest of feathers on its head. They are the biggest extant pigeon species at about the same size of a chicken. The Victoria crowned pigeon is the biggest pigeon species on the planet. They have a maroon patch on the front of their body and are blue-gray throughout their body feathers. The tail feathers of a Victoria crowned pigeon have 16 instead of 12 that ordinary pigeons have. The common name comes from a cluster of lacy-like feathers on the top of the head. Their eyes are a bright crimson color, with a patch of dark-colored feathers around the eye. They have powerful feet with lengthy toes that assist them in walking across the ground, which is where they spend the most of their time. They're 74 centimeters long and weigh between 2 to 2.5 kilograms. Both sexes are roughly the same size, however males are occasionally bigger. Victoria crowned pigeons eat a variety of foods. Fruits, berries, seeds, and insects are among the foods they eat. The majority of their food is found on the ground. Number 6. Thorny Dragon Lizard The thorny devil is a lizard species belonging to the Agamidae family. This species is only found in Australia. It is the only species in the Moloch genus. It may reach a total length of 21 centimeters, including the tail, with females being somewhat bigger than males. The thorny devil's entire top half is covered in a terrifying variety of spikes. These prickly scales also assist in predator defense. To avoid predation, they can utilize camouflage and deceit. This lizard wanders about slowly in search of food, water, and mates, halting abruptly and rocking as it does so. The lizard also has a spiky false head on the back of its neck, which it displays to prospective predators by lowering its true head. Soft tissue makes up the false head. The thorny devil is coated in stiff, sharp spines that make it difficult to swallow, deterring predators from attacking it. When other animals confront it, it lowers its head between its front legs and displays its fake head. Wild birds and goannas are predators that eat the thorny devil. They take their name from a deity of human sacrifice. The technical term for the thorny devil is Malachoridus, which was inspired by John Milton's work Paradise Lost. Milton characterizes the Canaanite god Moloch as a cruel ruler coated with human sacrificial blood in the poem. The Latin term Horridus can refer to something that is harsh, bristle or awful. Number 5. Gariel the gharial is also known as the fish-eating crocodile, and this crocodile is an accomplished fisherman. But don't be misled into believing that simply because they specialize in fishing, this massive reptile isn't a threat to mammals. First and foremost, its sheer hugeness is cause for concern. With males on average over 20 feet in length, the gharial is one of the longest of any surviving crocodilians. The gharial, unlike other crocs, has a long, narrow mouth that is uniquely designed to pursue its prey. Males have a peculiar protrusion at the tip of their nose that is employed in mating rituals. Local Indians say this growth resembles an earthenware pot, and the Hindi, Urdu, Nepali, and Punjabi words for this type of pot are gara, from whence we derive the term gharial. These crocs are also the most aquatic, spending nearly all of their time in the water. They have 100 needle-like teeth in their jaws, which make it hard for any prey to escape once the gharial grabs it. The severely endangered gharial was driven to extinction in the wild by mankind in 1973. Wild by mankind in 1973 
2023. But subsequent reintroduction programs have had some success in increasing its populations. While you don't want to be caught in those jaws, it appears that humans pose a greater threat to them than they pose to us. Number 4. Black Flying Fox well, hey there, Dracula. The black flying fox, sometimes known as the black fruit bat, is one of the world's biggest bats. Australia, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia are home to the black flying fox. It is not a critically endangered species. Individuals spend the day in enormous roosts, colonies, or camps containing hundreds to tens of thousands of people. They share their roosts with the gray-headed flying fox on occasion. They roost in mangroves, paper bark swamps, rainforest areas, and bamboo woods, as well as caves and beneath overhangs on rare occasions. Pollen and nectar from native eucalyptus, lily pillies, paper bark, and turpentine trees are consumed by black flying foxes. When native food becomes rare, such as during a drought, bats may eat imported or commercial fruits like mangoes and apples. In quest of food, this species has been observed to travel up to 50 kilometers in a single night. The species has evolved to consuming invasive cocos palm trees as a substitute for scarcer native species in residential areas, accounting for roughly 30% of the animal's diet. The strong acidity of palm fruits, on the other hand, can be poisonous and even fatal. The discovery of three recently emerging zoonotic viruses that are potentially dangerous to humans, Australian bat lysivirus, hendrovirus, and menangle virus, has exacerbated popular negative views of the species. Only the Australian bat lysivirus has been shown to be directly transmittable from bats to humans in two rare occasions. Number 3. Galapagos Cormorant the Galapagos Cormorant is an indigenous cormorant to the Galapagos Islands and an example of the island's unique wildlife. It's one of a kind since it's the only cormorant known to have lost its ability to fly. This bird, like other cormorants, has webbed feet and strong legs that let it move through the water in search of fish, tiny octopuses, and other small marine invertebrates. The species eats close to the seafloor and no more than 200 meters from the coast. With the exception of their small, stubby wings, flightless cormorants resemble ducks. The underparts are brown and the upper parts are blackish. The turquoise eye is hooked at the tip of the lengthy beak. All four toes of a cormorant are connected by webbed skin, as are all members of the cormorant family. Males and females have similar appearances, while males are somewhat bigger and weigh around 35% more. It can only be found on two islands, Fernandina and Isabella's northern and western shores. The seasonal upwelling of the eastward flowing equatorial undercurrent, which brings cold, nutrient-rich water to the archipelago's western islands, is linked to distribution. In the 2003 film Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, the character Stephen Maturin searches the Galapagos Islands for flightless cormorants. Number 2. Goliath Tigerfish Another predatory monster fish with a terrifying name is the Goliath tigerfish. This should suffice to persuade you that this is not a fish to be taken lightly. They live in the Congo River Basin and are known as Mabanga. They may grow to be 5 feet long and weigh over 110 pounds, with huge teeth up to an inch long that fit into particular grooves in the jaws of this large fish when the mouth is closed. If any Swahili speakers happen to be watching today, they'll be able to confirm that Mabanga means dangerous fish in Swahili. And you have to admire Swahili speakers for keeping things simple and descriptive. This is a dangerous fish that has been known to attack humans in the past. This isn't a situation where we can say the creature is more afraid of you or if you leave it alone, it will leave you alone. This is a particularly enraged fish, according to locals, who believe it is possessed by an evil spirit that motivates it to attack humans. As a result, it is considered one of the top game fish in the world and a fantastic prize for any angler. Number 1. Mata Mata Turtle the Mata Mata turtle is one of the numerous strange creatures that live in the Amazon River. This is a body of water that is teeming with strange creatures, including the Mata Mata. 
Their necks are very lengthy and formed like an ancient wood saw, and their mouths are lined with a plate that resembles human teeth. These turtles have a scary appearance and are also carnivorous, so it's better not to stomp on one. In fact, given the overwhelming quantity of vicious monsters, it's better to remain out of the water entirely if you're in the Amazon, where even the birds don't sing, but seem to scream in anguish. At fact, staying in a luxury hotel in Manaus would be preferable. The Mata Mata's camouflage approach is to look like a piece of bark, and they don't move too much, acting as ambush predators. Many individuals maintain these animals as exotic pets in their homes. After all, who wouldn't want an animal this adorable? Will these animals haunt your nightmares? Do you want a pet Mata Mata turtle? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.